cool. Hey, I'm Kamal Brown, and I'm an artist from Howard County, Maryland. Growing up in Howard County was really cool. I felt like uh, my parents definitely moved here to kind of get away, have like a quiet place to raise like a family. For me, it was just a really like warm and just kind of modest place to grow up. Um, I remember our parents uh, sent us to private school from first to eighth grade. And while being at that school, I just like most of my memory was filled with filling up sketchbooks with just ideas and stories. And I remember my teachers and even like my classmates, you know, they were really like nurturing and encouraging of uh, my creativity. When Kamal decided that he wanted to pursue art and photography and uh, things in the arts, um, I was a little nervous to be honest with you because it's something that I don't know much about. One of the things that really caught my attention was um, when they had the Congressional Art Competition. And he uh, did a piece with a uh, ballerina or dancer. And it looked pretty good to me. And I was like, can Kamal win this? And when they announced him as the winner, and um, Elijah Cummins, the congressman, came up and presented him, I mean, it was a joyful moment. And tears came to my eyes, you know, it's like, wow. <laughs> this guy might really have some talent with, um, with this art and photography thing. That was the very first one. Many of these students, they're experienced. They've been doing this for a while. This is like his very first art competition. And I had no idea that he won. I'm just going along and I'm, to be honest, hoping that he at least gets some kind of certificate or something, not knowing that he's going to win the whole thing. That was when we, I realized that yeah, he's got something here, and you know, we've got to support him. My mother never told us to, uh, she never ch decided what career path we should take. Uh, what she always told us was, um, be the best at what you're going to do. He, his journey is not over, and uh, we pray and hoping that he continue to pursue his passion and the love uh, that he has for uh, the craft that he's pursuing. interested in art. Um, I enjoyed, you know, drawings. I enjoyed music. So my freshman year, my parents uh, sent me to Reservoir High School and the art teacher, he was just a really awesome person and I liked the way that he kind of like held his class. And so my sophomore year, I decided that I would take photography. And that's when I really started to take art seriously. And from there, I kind of decided like, all right, I definitely want to go to college and pursue something within photography. I first encountered Kamal when he was a junior in high school, and uh, I knew right away that he had an interest in photography. Kamal's first big breakthrough was when he entered a congressional uh, art competition that's put on across the nation. And, and he decided to enter um, a photograph that he took of his grandmother that told a really powerful narrative. He was pleasantly surprised to find out that he was the grand prize winner. This was a, a huge gain, not just for me, but also for Kamal, because it was the turning point which took him from uh, the interest level in photography to really wanting to get further into it and pursue it as a potential career. One of the keys to any of the arts is really having that belief in yourself. Uh, and I believe that that's one thing that Kamal really embraced. He realized that the things that he was interested in were unique and also could gain him a lot of success if he were able to put his vision to work through the lens. I struggled in school with my dyslexia and you know I had to learn at my own pace. So things like math and English where there are things that are scored a certain way, um, it didn't always show like my truest potential. For every artist out there, they get inspiration from certain things. I feel like skateboarding is just a really great creative outlet and I definitely use that to my advantage when I have writer's block when I don't feel motivated to get up and do a shoot, you know, things like that, skateboarding really helped me with. 
Vans was really founded in one of the pillars of so art, and it really just focuses on you know everyone's individuality, um, allowing you to express yourself. I've really never worked for a company before that really wanted you to be your own being and be your own person. You know, just with your photography and everything, um, pretty much just giving you this opportunity to let you shine and show show us what you're about. It kind of gives people that opportunity to show what they're made of. The type of type of Vans and the type of family that Vans, you know, really attracts is very eclectic, almost like its own collective, but. It's really dope to see, you know, stand back and look at how everyone comes together at the end of the day and brings their different talents together um, through things like Passion Project, for instance. Honestly, I feel like the most naive thing you can do in life is feel like you know it all. There's never a moment where you're going to ever stop learning, and if you did, you, you need to go back and learn something new, regardless if that's what you went to school or not for. Like, you know, it's always good. You'll be ready for Jeopardy one day. There you go. <laughs> Yeah, so I mean, now that I've graduated college and, you know, I'm doing my own thing as an artist, uh, I know that I still love photography and, you know, it's not always easy, but I'm definitely in it for the long run. Uh, not really sure or I can't really see what's going to be next for me, but I'm just very grateful for, you know, all the opportunities that God's provided for me. And uh, I just know that, you know, everything that I've learned growing up here in Howard County, uh, all my friends and family that supported me, I know those things are here to stay.